Okay, so now I'm going to try and put some triangular ridges in, and they're in red. And what I want to do is I'm going to make a little bit more room for them in here, so I'm going to take some of this out. Okay, now we're going to put in what we call triangular ridges. And there are triangular, so we start at the tip of the cusp and we make a triangle. Remember, like at the very beginning, I probably I remember I showed you, I'll show you again, but if you take and put a little blob of wax on there and you add, keep adding wax to it in the center, and if you look at it down at the very close, you'll see that it's very round. Okay, well that's what happens when you do these triangular ridges. You're going to do this kind of thing. And that's going to be round in the center. Right there, it's going to be round. So this is actually exaggerated because it's bigger. But I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then do the same thing over here. What I'm doing there is I think I want to put more wax on so I can make my margins or the edges of the tooth clearer. And I'll carve that off in a little while. Now I want to look down the tooth again to see if my triangular ridges are rounded. They have to be convex. So I don't think they are, so I'm going to make them that way. Okay, now, we want to make them so that they are triangular, so we're going to put a groove on each side of them. And I like to use the number seven spatula or the beaver tail. I would even use that too. This is how we use the spatula. And then this is how we use the beaver tail. Putting that in there is to, to make it so that it's smooth and it takes away the, the real sharpness of the... It cleans up the wax by doing that. 